Hi there, um, Ahmed here from Aspire Themes. Uh, this is a short video about the uh, Ghost code injection and how to use it and when to use it. Uh, first, code injection is a way to add your uh, uh, JavaScript or CSS scripts to your website without changing the theme file. So without downloading the theme, editing the theme files and adding CSS and JavaScript, um, and then upload the theme again. This is a, an easy way to add a custom code or uh, if you want to add some uh, styling with CSS, it will be much easier with code injection. Um, it's You can access it from the ghost admin uh, using the code injection tab. So you will have a site header section and a site footer. What's the difference between those uh, sections? Uh, the site header will, uh, the code will uh, inserted here will uh, be uh, inserted in the at the top of the site, and the site footer will be at the uh, f site footer. Um, so every theme uh, should apply this uh, placeholder in the theme files. For example, this is one of my themes. I use the ghost head. A helper this is a helper from ghost uh, in the header of the theme and here is in the footer I use the ghost footer helper so when we insert anything as a site header it will be inserted here uh, using the ghost helpers so let's try to insert any just anything here any text and save and go to the website we will see it inserted here. Let's try in the footer and go to refresh, and it will be inserted at the end of the of the website. So let's just clean them out. So, so for example, if you want to insert your Google Analytics code, you can add it in the footer. It's recommended to add any scripts or any JavaScript in the footer. Uh, just to optimize or help with the performance of so the site performance to not uh, be a, a performance blocker in the header and um, any CSS code you can just add in the site header section uh, so let's save it and uh, go to the website so it will be hidden so let's let's add an example of with CSS to change the website background for example I will this is a CSS code so if you if you don't really uh, get it um, or understand what's really going on don't worry it's um, uh, I will probably uh, make another video about um, CSS in the future but let's start with the style um, if you know a bit of CSS we we need to uh, open a style element to add a specific uh, and the custom code inside. So you just don't worry. Okay, so let's um, add, for example, the body element. We'll have a background of, for example, red color or a background color to be to be red. Okay, so let's go to the website and refresh so we have the background color. So if we will, if we can inspect where the code is inserted exactly, we will see that it's inserted here. Uh, but why it's not inserted here that, uh, at first, uh, as we saw first, because the, the style element is something that the browser will understand and just will in, uh, apply this this element to the website uh, design. So if we remove these lines and just edit it, um, I think there's some error with goals. They don't get it. Ah, okay. We it's written. So so the browser uh, render it as a normal text. So we have to insert the style elements here. So we go to push and see them. So we, it will be inserted just here. Um, so if you have, if you are doing custom code with JavaScript or adding um, any custom library or something, instead of 
um, applying it to the theme files you just need to or can add it here to the uh, code injection um, uh, another example is to uh, let's try to add this here to the footer and remove it from header click save and apply it here uh, it will be also apply but it will be added at the website footer here at the end of the of the website as you can see here but it's for CSS it's uh, just recommending to add it in the website header um, uh, let's take another example of um, how you can inspect the website or the element of the website. So um, let's take this. Uh, there's some issue with it. Okay. Um, if you want to know exactly what class name the you want to uh, style because the body element is a journal element and it's easy uh, for anyone who is using CSS but if you wanted to um, um, get exactly a specific element you can open the uh, browser dev tools you can select uh, right click and inspect so the elements will open and you can click here okay Click here the button here and try to inspect any element that you uh, want to uh, style and to get the the class name. What why we are doing this? Because every element on the page has a specific uh, class name or ID or um, just uh, an element name, HTML element name. So if we want to style this or get the class of the logo, for example, we we will get the class name of c dash logo underscore link. So we will use it here. It's a style, so we add dot and um, open the normal CSS syntax code. And the code here is on the right is a current style to the uh, to the logo font. So if we want to, we can play here to see it live. And increase the font size, for example. But if we, but well, this will not apply to the website. If we did refresh, everything uh, will be gone. So we can, for example, if we want to increase the font size, maybe we can try to explain it here, or just to preview. And if you are fine with this, for example, you can copy this and. Uh, Add it here and the code injection and click save. So the the the, the logo now is, is much bigger and the style will be applied here. So this is a new one and it will override the old style. So if you we clicked here, uh, we will find the uh, the class or the code that we inserted here. So this is a bit technical if you don't know how to code or how to use CSS. But yeah, if you, if you have a custom code that is ready to be inserted, um, that's fine to just only copy and paste it here and save the um, the code injection with, and it will be applied to the website. If you are um, if you have ex some experience with with coding, and uh, that's fine, you can just uh, select any element that you want to customize and uh, add it here from the website. So I hope that you find this helpful and uh, um, if there's anything that you, you or you have any feedback about the video or anything that you want to me to make videos about goals in the future, please let me know. And yeah, see you soon. Bye.